It's a beautiful zero degrees Friday. Merry Christmas to everybody. I'll keep this glove off. But I'm getting out of the truck. That can only mean one thing. Come on, it's cold. Okay, two things. The three. Five traps I have on my road line. Sorry about the wind. Finally produced. Stopping by, checking things out. Well, that audio is probably shit. Try to talk a little louder, cause <gasps> it's cold. That's obviously a no remake. I'm taking the gun out. Mailman decided to stop by and check, see if I needed help untangling out of the barbed wire. I said, "Got it." <laughs> Well, he's not tangled in the barbed wire. Let me just shoot him. It'll make it a hell of a lot easier freeing him. And then he realized what was going on. <laughs> we don't let coyotes loose. Holy shit, it's cold. The trap's been there for over a week now. I've been waiting for a coyote to run right down that trail. Looks like a nice male. Light colors. I didn't spend a whole lot of time looking. I did a smash and grab. Got in there, got him, and got the fuck out back in the truck. That's cold. <laughs> We're sitting at uh, zero degrees and uh, 30 mile an hour wind gusts again today. So, you do the math. Probably 15, 20 below. Cold. It'd be alright if the wind wasn't blowing, but that's the nature of the beast, my man and women so yeah that's what we got going on right now um we got two more on this line then i got one more on the end or two more on the end they're moving i just don't know when they're moving i'm thinking a lot of like daylight movement or dusk dawn when it's not windy windy I looked right at it and be like, nah. <laughs> it's a lot of wishful thinking when you get down to it, guys. Yeah, these ones are all... That one's still active. That one's mostly buried, but still functional. But yeah, that was cool. Like I said, mailman stopped by, then one of the uh, co-op guys seen me there and dragging a coyote across the road so you get a lot of attention when you're running a road line especially for coyotes because they think you're just dragging a damn dog I don't know I've had people tell me I caught a dog I'm like no it's a coyote it looks like a dog but it's not so it's too cold to explain why I'm out there I'm just like yep got it thanks you gotta try to be respectful even though you're cold. <laughs> Just because you're still representing the sport, so that's cool. That's number 28. They're moving, it's just a matter of time. I opened up a few holes, it's too freaking cold to be doing it though. Um, I did move the drill inside the truck. <laughs> yeah. It's real tough because snares in Iowa are treated the same as cona bears. And if you watch any of Iowa Trapper stuff, um, you'll understand. It, it, it becomes a pain in the ass. You've got to take a range finder while you're trapping. Um, you can't be within 300 yards of a driveway, which is fine. It's understandable because i got a couple spots that I know guys run dogs have dogs just house dogs that run around and you don't want to catch a farm dog in a snare if you can avoid it um but i wish they'd give you the option of running relaxing locks 
Because if then we can run cable restraints. But, alright guys, we'll keep you posted on down the line. Well guys, I'm sitting here. Talking to my buddy Derek. You know who you are. You got a little uh, sneak peek in tonight's episode. Tile number 20... Nine, I think. I'm looking at him right here. It's gonna be quite the drive up though. So this is where that tip I was telling you guys about last night, where um, just drive as close to your traps as you possibly can. Them coyotes are lazy bastards, man. They'll uh, follow your tracks. I can see he worked right through here. He came through here and worked these traps, this trap here, but it wasn't open. He could smell it. He just couldn't find it. Uh, he worked it. He worked it hard. And then uh, we come up here. You can see the coyote tracks. I'm going to flip you around. So if you guys can see the coyote tracks running right here. And then you go up to that corner post. I see something black laying there. Oh. They always look darker until you get up there. One of these days I'm going to catch me a black coyote. Derek, man, thanks for hanging out, man. Wish we could you could have FaceTimed this and seen the whole thing. But obviously, I missed the second one, so I know you were discouraged about that, but it happens. It takes time. See, the second one shot across that gap there. This is a big dog, guys. Big dog. Problem is, I can't get my truck on the upwind side. We'll get as close as we can. Nose right up to the fence. Short chain, deep catch. There you go, my man. Derek, don't get discouraged, dude. Just takes time. This one looks like he worked the hell out of the set. You see all the tracks? Before they finally committed. There's another one for you, Trapper J. All predator bait lure. Might have had some beaver tail in there. It's a pretty dog. Big tracks, long legs, white fronts on the legs, on the back legs, that's unique. That's coyote number, I think that's 29, or 28. Alright guys, we're going to get him dispatched and freeze my ass off trying to reset this son of a bitch. But well, hey, dry dirt before the storm pays off man so all right guys i'm gonna get some pictures of her or him it's a long dog beautiful that's the fish right there hold on i can't see my camera it's dark snap 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 okay well thanks for being patient with me on that Yeah, I, I could try to set you guys up to see some set videos, but I don't want to. It's cold. I'll show you the remake, a quick little clip. But it's cold out there. I don't even want to go out there. It's got a really nice red tinge to it. Not very good for market, but everybody's got their own preferences. And me, a coyote's a coyote, so we'll take it. But again, we missed one. They cut across the field. They both worked that set. They just didn't smell something they liked or they just couldn't figure out where it was exactly at. <laughs> but, it's awesome. Alright guys, keep you posted. I'll show you the remake here in a second. Okay guys, now that the sun's on my back, here's that remake. Ground's frozen, so I couldn't get my dirt hole as deep as I want. I think this started out as like a flat set punch set. I don't know if I'm pointing at the right thing. So I dug it as deep as I could, punched the hole, shoved the bait in the hole. Put it in the ass, wrong hole. Uh, put the bait in the hole, and then I put a, a chunk of dirt, frozen chunk of dirt on top of it. Just to kind of give them something they have to work at. Shoved a little bit of stinky beef in this little side hole punch. Wherever it's at, you can probably see better than I can. But, nice coyote. Good mane. Oh, jumbo female. I would have never guessed that. 
Big old female. So this is even more attractive. She pisses shit over everything. I think they're getting close to their breeding season. So there you go, guys. Their whole set of Trapper Jays all predator bait and stinky beef. But it's cold, man. We're going to go up here on the hill and see what else we can get into. We still got all the traps over the other side of the hill. So the same coyotes that work this property, good chance I catch them on the other side as well. So sun's all wrong. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next one. Probably going to wrap it up for today. We ended up with two for uh, negative degree temperatures. I'll take it. It's going to suck being in the skinny shed, but it really don't have a whole lot of heat in there. There's a little propane heater. Left my sunglasses at home. But anyhow, anyhow, that's what we got going. We got the two coyotes today. Um, seen a rooster pheasant on his feet. Kind of weird. Maybe this is my last snare here. A lot of coyotes running last night or this morning. Just they didn't quite work the sets right. So yeah, they just didn't quite work the sets right. Everything's kind of plugged up with all the snow and I'm not, I'll open the few up. Just popping holes in the snow. Um, brushing out the sets a little bit. Too cold. And uh, I'm not wearing, I'm just wearing my tennis shoes because I had a doctor's appointment today. I didn't bring my snow boots tomorrow. I'll wear my snow boot just on the one foot. The other foot, I don't care if it gets wet. Can't feel it, so it don't matter. Holy shit, there they are. Oh, they think they're hiding out in the middle of open field. There's all the hens. So I can get you going without stopping. Oh, they're gone. That's why the cock bird was out. Alright, well, hopefully you guys see something. I couldn't see the screen, so... It is what it is, I guess. They let me drive by once. The rooster let me drive by until I stopped, but it was just like that. So... Apparently I need to start packing the shotgun in the truck and start getting some of these birds before the season pulls it out. It's right around the corner, so... That's usually... I normally don't start trapping until January 10th. In the, but the last two years I've moved it up to the shotgun season. And this year I... Uh, please don't bite that. At any rate. Um, look at this. <laughs> I came through here five minutes ago and opened this fucking setup. Sorry for the wind, I just want to show that. I literally just drove through you see the dirt kicked up. Stupid wind. That's why I'm not opening many more. I can handle the cold. The cold and windy sucks. But this trap is right here. There's a, uh, a crossover. Let's flip your window's dirty. But there's a crossover coming across this drainage. From field to field, it's the only access point unless they're crossing the, the drainage itself, or they're coming up across in the creek now that it's frozen. It's sitting right there, it's probably a little bit far, too far to the east. I wanted one up here, but there was a big water spot. But once we get this wind to die down, get a hard crust on this snow. I'll make trapping this crap a lot easier. Alright guys, my next video, I just got done filming for it here. It's just a rant video. Stay, you don't have to go there. Don't, don't waste your time. It's just a uh, basic little talk. Um, it's about everything that ran through my mind today on the trap line. Pretty simple, stupid shit. Uh, something about talking with DNR, some Facebook bullshit I had to deal with recently. Um, taking kids out, regulations, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, all right, well, that's going to be it for today. We got number 28, 29. 29 was a big female cotton at Duke 550 on a dirt hole set. Well, kind of a dirt hole set. The ground was frozen when I put it in, so it didn't... The hole wasn't very good. You'll see it here in the remake. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be a hell of a lot nicer. We're talking about 15 degrees instead of zero. But the winds are supposed to die down, so it's going to feel like it's 50. I'll probably be trapping in shorts by the end of... By Tuesday next week. Um, because we're getting up to 35. So... Nope, we didn't do much with the sets. If we caught Remy made, a couple of them I opened up. You'll see that in one of the videos. I might clip, cut it out of a clip. But, uh, yeah, we uh, seen some pheasants today. A lot of coyote sign, a lot of coyote tracks. They're covering ground the last couple nights. Um, so it's just a matter of time. They're just not tripping over my sets yet, and the holes are plugged up with snow. So next couple days... Probably tomorrow is going to be a lot of work. We're going to go in there and bust open all the holes as soon as this damn wind dies down. But the temperatures are going to come up, which is going to make the snow heavier and make it lay down. So then we'll dig out the holes, rebate the holes. Um, the dirt's still good, so we might just do a fresh dusting to make it look a little prettier or uglier, whatever. More eye appeal. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to start... Uh, I'm going to wear that line where I caught the coyote in the snare this morning. I don't even know how that video looks yet. I'll just know it here after editing. Um, but yeah, I might cut the sound out of that one. <laughs> and uh, just overlay something. But yeah, that line there is going to get pulled. Because it's just a few snares. I think it's only like six snares. So we're going to pop all those loose. At least knock them down. And then we get up to 40 degrees next week. We'll be able to pull them and go back through and pop all of them. I tried pulling the stake out of the ground where we caught that coyote. It wasn't happening. Luckily, I was able. she wasn't able to tangle up on anything, which is Iowa State laws. Um, so, for road line. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. We're going to wrap it up. I'm going to try to get in the shop here and get my little heater going. Run inside, take a leak, and then come out here and start working these two coyotes down. Get them at least skinned. I know I'm starting to get a pile of furs in there. They need fleshed. So we've just been skinning them and rolling them. And if you guys are rolling them, nose to tail. Because you don't want the face thawing out. It's usually the first thing to thaw out. And if you roll it the other way. And it's the first thing to start slipping. So you want to roll nose to tail so that you can slowly unroll everything. Um, but that's I just got my one freezer just piled. I don't need to freeze them, but they're just piled up on top of the freezer, frozen blocks of fur right now. So here probably Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're going to start putting that shit up. Get it flushed out, get it put on stretchers. And start letting it dry a little bit. So we can get those things put up. I think we're talking seven or eight. There'll probably be ten coyotes on the freezer after today. Um, well, we're doing pretty good. We're doing real good. I don't know. I think we caught, what, ten coyotes this week? At least seven this week. If I could have a week like that every week, that, that four coyote day, damn, I was really hoping we caught five. We almost did. So, four coyote days really make the whole line worth it. And I think here in the next couple of days, there's a good chance we start doubling up a, a little more regular. And them coyotes are really starting to cover ground. They're starting to hunt. They're starting to look for food. But... Alright, well, I normally don't do this, but I know some, you'll see it, I was talking about Derek, but we're going to give this video to him today. Call this a little shout out for you, bud. Don't get discouraged. Trapping sucks. As much as we say it's fun, and it's an, an enjoyment in our lives, it's not. We just like doing it. 
<laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of pain in the ass. But it's very rewarding. Um, if you're looking for somebody who's a hard worker, hire a trapper. Just don't expect them to get much work done or have much energy come uh, trapping season. But, yeah. They just, they're used to working from sun up to sundown. So, alright guys. Derek, this one's to you, buddy. Hope you and your kids have, I know you caught a coyote today or yesterday. Just keep hammering it, man. Just keep on putting that nose down. Follow those coyote tracks. Learn what they're doing. If you see them they stick their nose in a mouse hole, put a damn trap there. <laughs> Just put a trap there. You don't even have to put a uh, any bait in that hole. You, there's already a mouse living there, you know? Come back about eight inches from that hole and put a trap right where you see them. How they see, how you, whoop, drop you. How you see them approach that hole. Just whoop. If they're right there, put a trap there. Um, if you're constantly having coyotes come up to your set. And your sets, you want them to step here and they're stepping here. Right, right where I know is that, alright? So they're stepping there. And it's constant. Move that fucking trap. I mean, yeah, you'll eventually catch one that comes in from the other direction. But if it's constant where they're stepping in the same spot and approaching your set from the same direction, the same direction, the same direction, move that trap over a couple inches. Don't be afraid to move it. You know, I mean, you give it the week it takes before you rebate, or the three or four days. I don't know how many days you guys wait to rebate them. Uh, mine's very weather dependent, and we got a lot of mice right now eating out holes, so I'm about every three days I'm rebaiting. Um, which it happens to work out, that's what the weather is doing to me too. So every three days I'm about resetting every freaking trap on the line. But whatever. Um, but yeah, the mice are eating the shit out of the holes right now. So, when you go to rebate, move that trap over. As long as it's consistent. But if you have one come through this way, one come through this way, one come through this way, leave it alone. Eventually it's going to work. Unless you see a consistent crossing pattern where the tracks are crossing your set. And if it's consistent where every coyote that comes through their steps in the same spot, move your trap over. But, uh, shifter's too round. Um... Don't be afraid to get aggressive on your trap line. Um, there's no such thing as trying too hard. There's such thing as trying too little. And then there's somewhere happy in the middle there where shit just happens to work. And a lot of it is we just... You don't have to try nearly as hard. I'd say... Scent control on the initial set is important. After that, it doesn't matter. Because something's already come through there. Something's already pissed on your backing. Something's already done this. Something's already either been caught. At that point, scent control doesn't matter. Because there's still a human factor of smell there. But if you're trapping in farm country, if you're trapping on public land, if you're trapping on this, you're trapping on that, they're used to guys walking through the woods and dropping snacks as they go. How many of you guys take snacks in the woods with you? I mean, you guys take snacks on the trap line with you, and you accidentally spill some sunflower seeds or something and kick it out on at the trap site where you're setting. They're used to human smell to a certain degree. Um, but I'm going down a rabbit hole. Anyway, Derek, just keep keep your nose down, man. And just keep on hammering them traps in the ground, and just keep on working your sets. Keep on keep on trying. I mean, just. Do you, man. Just have a hell of a fun time with it. Take the kids out with you. Uh, even if you're not catching anything, maybe take the 22 with you and pop a couple squirrels here or there. Maybe take a rabbit out. Just let them take red riders and shoot at Tweety Birds. Who cares? We're just out there to have fun. We're trying. To, it's a horrible hobby, trapping is. But it's so rewarding and it's so fun. My daughter gets anxiety. From riding along in the trapping truck with me. Because every hill she's like. Is there going to be one? Is there going to be one? Is there gonna be? And there's not. It's a major letdown. But the day there is. It's like boom. She's just explosive. With energy. And she's excited. So. It, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. 
and uh, I feel bad. She, this was the one day they're sitting at home all day today, and there's two coyotes in the back of the truck. But, all right, guys, this video will be long enough. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bug you too much. Like and subscribe. Most of you guys, if you like it, you will. If you don't, you don't. Whatever. Thanks for watching, at least. Um, that goes a long way. Comments go a long way. Um, I'm not quite there. We're going to do a giveaway of 500, and we're, we're, we're hitting that threshold. We're right there. So you guys uh, that have liked and subscribed, just share. Share the hell out of the page. Try to get your buddies on here. Um, yeah, because at 500, we're going to do a giveaway. I haven't talked to Jay. See if we're going to do the live giveaway down there. Um, I heard somebody was saying coyote skull. So, I got to work that up, but I'm not doing it when it's negative something degree temperatures. Uh, but I've got a couple of them marinating right now. So, it wouldn't take long to put one together. I do have a raccoon skull. I have a beaver skull. Maybe you can do a signed beaver skull giveaway, huh? I don't know. I got all that stuff. I know I'm a coyote trapper for the most part, but I do trap beef. The occasional beef. So... Would a beaver skull work for you guys for a giveaway? Let me know. All right, guys. Always keep your nose down. Keep it to the grindstone, man. I got to figure out how to do these uh, where I can play a song because there's a song called The Grindstone. Nose to the Grindstone that I'd love to see if I could get the rights to play on my YouTube video because it would go well. So, as always, guys, just keep, it, keep your nose to the grindstone and just keep working. Hard work equals success. There's a life lesson and life tip. So hard work equals success. It's not given to you. You got to earn it. Same thing with trapping. Take care.